What up, big kids? This is Sean Long for ToyWorth.com, and I am here at San Diego Comic Con 2019. And here's some highlights for you. And here we got the San Diego Comic Con 2019 display from Storm Collectibles with Mortal Kombat. And here's Baraka, which just released. Uh, very awesome. And the Scorpion, which you can actually get at the show. I wanted to pick up, but you know, I had other things I needed to pick up uh, before. And it does look amazing. Uh, I lo it's the Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion, even though I wish I got the uh, Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion. Then we got Smoke with his bomb, and we looking very awesome, so we get all three of the um, Cyber Ninjas. And then we got Sector with his Fatality, uh, the little thing that opens up, uh, the conveyor, uh, whatever, the thing, the stretcher, you know, smasher thingy, about to kill a uh, bloody version of Scorpion. You know, and then we got Cyrax throwing his net. We got ketchup and mustard uh, going on there in the original names of Sector and Cyrax. But yeah, nothing but net. And then uh, for their Injustice figures, we got, of course, Lobo that's shown off here. We got also are focusing on the bigger characters, Lobo with a cigar looking so awesome. And Lobo was a DLC character. And then love the chains and his uh, little uh, shotgun pistol. And we got Insane and the Bane. So we got Bane. His head looks a little small, but um, I think that's how it was in the game, too. And then we got Dark Side, looking really awesome. Yeah, so this is based on the first Injustice game. And looking so cool. Something, something Dark Side. And then the world reveal of Doomsday. Doomsday looking so awesome. Um, I think he's the best looking. You can definitely use any of these for just comic versions of them and it's nice that they're focusing on other characters and then you got from Tekken and you're looking awesome yes wow <laughs> I always love all the effects that they come up with with um with all the different lines that um, Storm Colloquial says then we got some Street Fighter figures we got M. Bison in this battle costume looking awesome perhaps they did a regular uh, Bison but yeah, and we got Sagat uh, with his awesome scar, looking so cool. Yeah, and then we got Guile, uh, also his battle costume or alternative skin. And then we got Cami in her battle costume. Yeah, so there's San Diego Comic Con exclusives. Love the flowing hair with Cami, looking so beautiful. Yeah, Cami's my girl. Love Chung Lee too, also. And then we got Street Fighter 2, Ultra Street Fighter 2 versions of Ryu and Ken. Um, and then Sagat and Guile. Sonic Boom! That, that hair defies gravity, literally. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Yeah, so Sagat in his. Yeah, so the previous uh, display showed their alternative costumes, and this is their standard default costume, so looking very awesome. And then Ken. Looking awesome with that uh, Prince Valiant hairstyle. Totally like He-Man hairstyle. Uh, always love the red on Ken. And then we got the Gears of War figures. Uh, Gears of War 5. So we got Marcus. It looks like more classic Marcus Phoenix. I don't know if they're doing a flashback or... Yeah, because he definitely looks a lot younger. Or like the original Gears trilogy. Marcus. Then we got Coltrane, baby. Woo! Yeah, so... Love uh, Coltrane. He got his football helmet, uh, and then we got Kat, uh, or uh, Kate, sorry, or, oh man, but yeah, it's in her Gears of War, um, man, she looks so good, uh, like, the, um, the head sculpt, and then we got old Marcus Phoenix, yep, there you go, looking really awesome, I love the weathering, and just a really great job with them, and we got the Warden, looking very awesome, so of course, gonna do some uh, Locus, Figures, I believe they're Lucas, or I don't know what they'll call them this time. They always change around, like the Lambent and but that. I really did enjoy Gears of War 4. It's probably one of the last few games I played on my Xbox minus, uh, um, man, what was the other one from Insomniac? Um, well, anyway, uh, well, this one looks really good. Yes, I love that they're making dragon figures, and yeah, looking so cool, man. Yeah, so, uh, man, I totally walked past that. I forgot which one this is. It was like a classic video game. 
yeah, make all the video game figures. That was a Comic Con exclusive. And then, yeah, we got some, um, what's a Final Fight? Or, yeah, uh, it was so cool. And I, I just love the effects that the Storm Collectibles are doing. They look just so cool. And, yeah, and then, uh, man, just looking really great with all that. I think this is, yeah, Final Fatal Fury. <laughs> I love it. A very classic uh, game. Yeah, so looking awesome, you guys. You can pre-order right now at BigBadToyStore.com. Links in the description. Sorry if um sound a little tired or anything going through since I've got a flat tire in my car, going through the move. Anyway, check out BigBadToyStore.com uh, for a pre-order all these figures right now. And uh, stay t uh, check out all the photos of all these figures on my Instagram and Facebook pages. Uh, Instagram, Facebook.com forward slash SeanXLong. And check out toywerf.com for, for a lot more. And I'm Sean Long, Mary Live Long, and love my.